There's a major development on a CBC News investigation into Ticketmaster. Canada's Competition Bureau has found the company did not break federal laws with its secret scalper program. So the Bureau is closing its investigation. The probe started after CBC News revealed Ticketmaster was recruiting professional scalpers who buy tickets with bots and resell them at a higher price. The CBC's Dave Seglins went undercover at a ticket industry convention in Las Vegas last fall. Here's what he discovered. I want to know the straight goods on whether Ticketmaster is going to be policing us using our multiple accounts. Uh, no. I have, I have a gentleman who's got over 200 Ticketmaster.com accounts. How many brokers are using multiple accounts? I'd say pretty damn near every one of them. I mean, they have to because if you, you want to get a good show, the ticket limit's six or eight. Yeah. You're not going to make a living on eight, eight tickets. Dave is here in studio with more. So, Dave, tell us more about what we're learning today. Well, the Competition Bureau has basically said there is nothing that they can do. Their hands are tied. There is nothing under the Competition Act at a federal level that can touch these practices, whether it's the software that's being, that they designed, Ticketmaster designed, used to help resell millions of dollars worth of tickets, whether it's Ticketmaster actually recruiting the pro scalpers, whether it's uh, Ticketmaster turning a blind eye to these scalpers using hundreds of fake IDs and accounts to acquire their tickets. Nothing that Canada's law can do to touch it. However, in their release today, two interesting things. One is that the Competition Bureau is signaling, look, consumer protection and unfair business practices are generally the purview of the provinces. So mm. they're sort of passing the buck and saying if the provinces want to look into this, that's something that uh, could be done. Right now, we're not aware of any provincial investigation. We'd certainly mm. like to hear about it. The second thing is, uh, in the headline to today's release, the Competition Bureau says they've concluded investigation into ticket scalper bots. Now, we have to be very clear here. Our investigation never mentioned bots. Mm -hmm. We weren't discussing bots. Bots are perceived as the automatic robotic uh, computer programs that are used to you know, hit Ticketmaster's mm -hmm. site to buy up the tickets. That is not what we're talking about. We're talking about software the Ticketmaster designed designs for scalpers saying, once you've got your, uh, your tickets, however mm -hmm. you got them, we'll help you to resell them and we'll take a fee. So yeah. I just want to be clear because the Competition Bureau's headline seems to suggest maybe they don't fully understand what our reports were about or what Ticketmaster's been up to. Well, that's interesting. So does this mean that this is business as usual for Ticketmaster? Well, currently, yes. Uh, in Canada, it appears the Competition Bureau uh, has no teeth to get into this particular aspect. I can tell you in the United States, uh, the U.S. Uh, Senate has a competition um, and cons rather a consumer protection committee that has been demanding answers of Ticketmaster. Uh, there have been some lawmakers demanding some reforms and changes to the law in the U.S. And next month, the Federal Trade Commission is going to hold a one-day symposium where they're going to call on Ticketmaster as well as people in the music industry and consumer groups to talk about this to figure out how we can get a more transparent uh, and more fan-friendly uh, ticketing industry given how it is currently online with all of these sort of secret deals. Because whether it's that the, comp the, f the Federal Competition Bureau didn't understand or whether the provinces just haven't, there are those that would suggest that maybe the laws or something needs to change. 100%. This is what we consistently hear from the lawmakers, the elected officials who say this may not be against the law currently, mm -hmm. but maybe it should be. I, Bill Pascrell uh, from New Jersey, the U.S. congressman, has been emphatic leading this charge, and I think that's one of the things that we're hearing echoing back, that uh, it may be that the online ticketing space has gone so far ahead of the laws that we need to revisit it to make sure it's fair and to, to all involved. Dave, thank you. That thank is you. the CBC's Dave Seglins.